Hello everyone, the story I'm going to share today is Evil Cannot Escape Retribution. During the Yuan Dynasty, bandits in Guangdong crossed the Yangtze River and occupied Gua State and Zhenjiang. The Yuan Imperial Court sent large army and gathered all the naval ships at Jiao Mountain, blocking the bandits from crossing the sea. One of the head generals, Li, was originally a helmsman man on a military ship. He later became a general because of his super performance. He acted recklessly and often went out at night to rob people. An elderly couple and their entire family sailed from Yangzhou to the south. Just as their boat passed General Li's ship, he cast up a hook and caught it. He boarded their little boat, claiming he needed to inspect it. Lee's crew jumped onto the old couple's boat, knocking down old baskets and boxes. They took away more than 200 tubes of silver and a box filled with gold and silver jewelry. The old couple tried to get their items back, but in vain. They begged the robbers, Just leave us enough money so we can buy food. But Li refused. The old man was very upset, but had no way to appeal the plight. He said, The world is descending into darkness. When will we see the sun again? Seeing this, he began to turn the boat around and prepare to leave. Li worried that the old man would go to the local government and complain. So he tried to trick the couple and said, I'm just joking with you. It's getting dark, and it's not easy to steer the boat at night. Please wait until tomorrow. I will return your items to you. Then he fastened the old man's boat to his ship. At midnight, Li used the giant rudder from his ship to strike the old man's boat. He smashed it and it sank. The elderly couple and their two sons and their wives and the children, the total 11 people died. Li was indifferent. 15 of Li's crew participated in the murder. The other five tried to intervene. One of the sailors practiced Buddhism. He always kneeled on the deck to pay his respect to Buddha, and he read the Buddhist scriptures. When he heard that the family was murdered, he was very worried. He told the other sailors, there will be retribution for what happened. We will all be blamed. What can we do? General Lee and others laughed at him and said that he was very superstitious. The following morning, Lee went to another boat to visit his friend. He suddenly had a severe headache, so he called for a boat to take him back to his ship. When the boat reached the center of the river, the man rowing it, suddenly stopped. When Li asked why, the man said, Don't you see the god of Xander standing on the deck of your ship? He is glaring at us in anger. Li became furious upon hearing this. He cursed the man and struck him with the back of his knife. The man had no choice and continued rowing. Just as Li stepped onto the deck, a Xander boat struck him and killed him. Hearing the sudden clap of thunder, the sailors all ran to see what happened. At that moment, another thunderbolt came down, and Lee's ship was split in two. The back half, where Lee stood, immediately sank into the sea. The front half still floated. The sailor who believed in Buddhism was below that, reading the Buddhist scripture. When he heard the thunder, he also hurried out and saw that only half of the boat was left. He was terrified and called for help. Someone heard his cry and came in a small boat to save him. As soon as he got into the small boat and turned back to look, to his surprise, the front half of the boat had already sunk into the sea. The five sailors, who did not participate in the family's murder, were called by the thunder and safely departed on the beach. They were unconscious. 
When they woke up, they said they saw God dressed in golden armor. Pick them up before the ship sank. For many years, people talk about what happened to General Lee. They reminded each other that evil cannot escape retribution. Thank you very much for listening to the story. More touching stories will be ready for you if just subscribe it. Thank you again.